Hello everyone, welcome to Creepy Reads. This is a channel where I, Pokogar, and some other friends read scary stories on the internet. They can be creepypastas, CSPs, or anything really. Once we read these stories, we like to give our thoughts on them. These videos are more in a podcast style where you can just listen to them. You could be doing something while you listen to this in the background, or even use this as a means of going to sleep. So make sure to stay tuned if this intrigues you. The story in this video is called A Nazi's Goat Story, and it's a creepypasta. I can't really seem to find the original creator, but this is an edi edited copy with better grammar, which is found on the creepypasta wiki. The link can be found in the description if you want to read it for yourself. And read along, too. This was saved from 4chan on Friday, September 28th, 2012 at 1.31am Eastern Standard Time. Now remember, this is a pilot of sorts, and the future videos will look way better. However, just listen along. Wait, hold up, you're reading? <laughs> I'm done. He, he's been reading the thing, and he's like, yo, you're reading? Yo. Dude, I had no idea. I thought he was just, I thought he was just saying random shit. Uh, he literally talked about having a huge house. Down south, living in Alabama. Yo, am uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Alabama. Nice. Yeah. Alabama. Hey. Hey. Bro, of course they're white. Of course they're white. Yeah, I know, right? Bro, of course they're white. <laughs> Nip, what the hell? Yo. No, 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 stop, yo, stop, stop. Bro, of course he, of, of course he has a shotgun though. Stop. <laughs> like, bro, are you serious? <laughs> Whip out a shotgun out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Fortnite out here. Oh man. Alright boys. So so um The hell was that? I just realized he's on the This is some this is some um this is some like you take every cliche and then you put it into one and this is what the story is so far. It's someone Alright, whatever. Whatever. Yeah, that happened to Muhammad too. Okay, okay. Um I'll read that. Yeah, it's because of the web browser discord. Yes, the no, my the Discord app just stopped working for me for some reason. Alright, alright. <laughs> okay, okay. Discord? Uh, who else read next? Uh, Shit, bruh. Orion just like left on us. Yo, right when we got Orion. He's not, he's not in the call. Oh, it's not like I can check. Should Otherwise. I, I mean, if you want to, yeah. I don't know. Alright, whatever. How do you have iTunes on Windows? I don't Whoa. know. The thing pops up every time I plug in uh, a phone. Yeah, that's how it works. Yeah, okay. Yo, but there's like... a white guy named Tan, bro. Let's go. Alright. I'm going to stop green texting because the story is in a fairly long yeah, is yeah. fairly long and the format is harder to write in. Why is a <laughs> 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 oh, TTS. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Wait. D did you think someone TTS that sentence? No, like, I heard TTS. What did TTS say? I don't know. Uh, TTS sounds like he has a, 
like drunk or something. No, no, it's TTS, man. It's, it's okay. All right, so we end up playing football, dicking around with me. There's this white kid, Tanner. Hey, the bud, Tanner. Yo, Tanner. let's go, the bud. Five of my cousins. Well, it is Alabama. <laughs> what? What? I I heard the Alabama Rugrats. The Rugrats. And yeah. then and then four of their friends. In total, there were five girls and six boys. We were all around fifteen to seventeen. Hmm. I wonder what will happen in the story. Me too. Bro, I know. I I'm done. <laughs> Oh my god. We ended up di- <laughs> Bro, they always- We- we ended up just dicking the- the day away. So, we head back to the camp, and pulling out some stuff for a campfire. Even though the trailers both had- Wait, Kitchenettes? Oh, a kitchenette's like the- the thingies? Okay. Tanner says that his family's property sits up by- Against my uncle's bar, I can't- I wanna be annoying. Nibba. He wants to run home. He wants to run no. home. It's kind of the opposite of what you do. He wants to run home. And asks his dad if he can come camping with us. My cousin. My cousin Rooster. Rooster. <laughs> my cousin Rooster. Bro, I'm Rooster. No, stop. Rooster. My cousin Rooster says he's going to go to with him since it's going to get dark soon. One of the girls also wants to tag along. One. Whoa. Hmm. Wonder why? Wonder why that's happening. Hmm. It's about seven o'clock, and it's starting to get pretty dark. They take flashlights and take the trail towards Tan's properly property. What the? F Okay, the rest of us chill. We make s'mores, drink, and kiss on the girls. Yo, they're, like, they're like 15 to 17 and they're already drinking. About 30. About 30. Oh my god. About 30 or 40 minutes later, there's the smell of ozone again. You can smell it over the smell of fire we had started. Smells like Ingo. Fire. Better than dining. This really nasty, coppery smell, like right after you had a nosebleed and it stopped. It wasn't exactly like dried blood, but it was that nasty, metallic, back of your throat smell. Oh yeah, I've smelled that before. I've, I've smelled the same. It. Yeah, Ooh, it's, so it's, bad. it's horrible. Or just like take, just like take a spoon and then put it there and just smell it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Smells God. good. Yep. Wait, who's like a picture of Rock Lee in the Discord? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh shoot, where was it? I? Like aqua. Back your throat, smell. Uh, uh, we immediately. Okay, we immediately think that it's some kind of electrical malfunction, or something left a hot plate on or some shit. Nice. We search the trailers and nothing is on, and we can all smell it. All of a sudden, we can hear people booking down the path toward us, and... Rooster! Tan. <laughs> Tan, and... <laughs> the girl! <laughs> the girl! <laughs> the girl! I'll come oh, running... Man. The girl! The girl! I'll come running into the clearing. Out of breath. They are out of breath. And they don't even break stride. They all run into the trailer, right by where the fire was. We all get the fuck out of there and into the trailers. They end up calming down. Even Rooster. <laughs> Bruh, yeah, you're getting disconnected. I'm done. Nope, you're done. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah. my bad. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Yes, he got disconnected. Oof. Minecraft channel. Where the- wait. And Rooster's crying his fucking eyes out at this point. All the while, 
in the fire is guttering lower and lower. So my other cousins say, fuck it, and are about to go outside to get the generator out of the shed in between the trailers. Tan Tanner goes, oh, fuck no, lock the front door, and anyone else going outside. He's been crying too, and his eyes are bloodshot and puffy, and his pants are dirty as shit. He goes on to tell us that they went up to his house. His father said sure. He could go out camping, but to make sure they were careful on the way back. And then I'll maybe read the next one. that they should take one of the hunting rifles just in case. I'll read this one. Yeah. Evidently, Tanner had seen something in their yard a few days before. One of their pigs had come up, ripped up and half eaten. Oh, Assumed it was oh. just some big cats or coyotes. Even though they don't usually frick with live animals. You can say fuck, it's fine. In logic. <laughs> he had gone upstairs and packed his stuff and told his dad they were okay without the rifle because coyotes avoid people because they're gay like that. Mm -hmm. So they started walking back towards where we were camping. Oh, rooster! He mm -hmm. stops crying and shaking and the girl. <laughs> Already had, but she was just staring out into the. Oh, I lost my page. I lost. I lost the page. No, <laughs> you can't be serious. Okay, whatever. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's right there. Okay. She was staring out the window with a dumb look on her face. <laughs> he says they had gotten halfway into the woods, or into the camp when they started to hear. And the forest it was almost pitch black by this time, so they weren't sure at first what the fudge this was. This extraordinary caster off seems. But, um, uh, <laughs> the girl says that she heard something in the bushes right off the trail. They all beamed their flashlights over there. And there was someone standing back in the woods in a little hollow rooster. That, that they shouted at him and told him that he was scaring the fudge out of him and what if he was. He says that when he realized that the guy was facing away from their, them, so they kept walking. And the they start. Horses. Yo, shut up. <laughs> and, they, and they start smelling the nasty. Bro, shut up about Tetris now. We're reading the story. I said game <laughs> not Tetris. And they Still, say that they look the story. off into the forest on the opposite side, and a dude standing in the forest. Uh, yo, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Backwards, slightly closer to the path. Now they, so now they start power walking, and bam, Tan bam, keeps bam. going. Oh, I should have taken the rifle. As they're telling the story, the smell is still super strong even inside the cabin. They said that after they started walking faster, a kind of low gibbering had started coming from both sides of the wood. And as they started booking it back to the trailer, a girl said she had flashed her flashlight out into the woods to the side of them and saw saying something jerking itself through the woods. <coughs> Gibbering whoa, 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 just wait, got hold louder on. Something, and louder. Something, uh, something jerking in the woods. Didn't they say they were missing someone? Yo. <laughs> wait, does oh. this is the way it doesn't know it's happening. Yeah, <laughs> and continue. when they they could see the light from our campfire, oh, something had come out of the woods about forty yards behind them onto the track, and they had just flat out ran as hard as they could to the trailer. So we're out in the freaking woods. And we're assuming at this point it's some redneck. <laughs> <or something. laughs> I'm done. Bruh, some rednecks or some shoes trying to trick with us. Bro, you can curse. I there are like oh, oh, I have okay, people okay, in my okay, house. Okay. <laughs> All of a sudden, my other cousin Junior, what's going on? about how he went to school with a native kid that was talking about the, the goat man. Goat. <laughs> Yo, wait, <laughs> that's, the, that's the name of the story. Oh my god. Oh, no wonder. Promptly tell him to shut the hell up. 
Do we don't need any spooky talk right now. That is. But he just keeps going on and on about how it's good freaking goat man, and how we're in the his woods and blah, blah blah. How at this time I had never heard of this goat man or any of that. Goatman. But then a couple years ago, the year before I graduated from college, I had a menom. Hell is a menom for a roommate and I ended up asking him about it and to sum it up it's basically a freaking dude with the head of a goat and he can shape shift and he even gets among groups of people to terrorize them also what's supposed to be kind of like the wendigo and it's bad mojo to even talk about it and even worse if you see it oh yeah of course they're all in and every single creepypasta scary thing is invincible for like Keep in mind, I didn't know this back when I was 16. So my cousin is going, the goat man's going to get in and freaking get us. <laughs> the girl. Four minute mini. Okay. <laughs> the girls are all terrified, and my cousins and I are all trying to figure out if it's just some <laughs> hillbilly <laughs> story. <laughs> or if it's some okay. animal. I, I'll, I'll, I'll read now. I'll read now. So all of a sudden, this moment. <laughs> <laughs> so all of a sudden, the smell just goes away. Like to this day, I haven't even experienced anything like it. Like, usually smells fade away or lessen. It's just literally there is one second, and then not the second. Wait, what? Oh, okay, 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 I get, I get it now. So it's after an hour. Make it around 9 or 10. We've stopped shifting bricks enough to go back outside and stoke the fire again. We figure it was just some assholes trying to fuck with us. So if we don't go back home, because we think if we do, they'll chase us through the woods or some crazy shit like that. Nothing else weird happens that night. And we stay after night. And for the main part of the night, nothing happens. At about 1 in the morning, we're all outside getting drunk and telling ghost stories. As someone is finishing some too spoopy story, I don't remember what about the smell comes back. Story very good Pat's head. Yes. It's so fucking Who's strong. Who's TTS? I think it's a uh, static apathy. Not me. That one of the girls literally starts vomiting. I stand up, and you can actually feel how clammy the air is. I say, One of you for a second. Inside, and. Bro, I just lost where I was at. Where was uh, I? It's, uh, feel how clammy the air is. I say we should. Okay, uh, I, I say we should get inside, and this isn't right. We should have all just flipped and left. We all go back inside, and we're standing around. My cousin keeps going on about how it's the goat man, and my cousin Rooster tries to shut him the fuck up. Uh, and all the while, I'm feeling, I'm just feeling out that something is wrong, and I can't finger, I can't figure out what the hell it is. We end up sitting there for a while. The smell is just as strong, and we're terrified and all huddled in this camper. We end up cooking brats for... We end up cooking brats for everybody because no one wants to go outside. It's all what of those box? packs with four brats. What's a brat? You have a total of three packs. Also I... that. You all have a total of three packs. I grill them up on the stove and give everybody a hot dog. I get mine, and after a while, yeah. all of my cousins gets up and goes over to the pot to get another one. He starts grumbling about how I get two brats and everybody only gets one. I look at him like he's fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this is more this is more funny than anything, I'm being honest. Yeah, this ain't even that scary. <laughs> I tell them I tell him that everybody only got one because they're only 12 brats, and if he wants more, he should have opened a new pack and cooked some more. That's when the girl he, that he'd been out with Rooster and Tan just starts screaming, Oh Jesus, oh Lord, get it out! She's crying and shivering. Then the dons of the cousin standing up, what the fuck is wrong? 
Me and him both, both glance around the room, and then my, and then I feel my heart fucking sink. I run the fuck out of the cabin, and the girls run out with us. The trailer door is banging against the side of the cabin, uh, the side of the trailer as everybody books out of the cabin. One of my cousin's friends asked what the fuck was wrong. I started counting us. There's only eleven now. <gasps> oh! I shit you not. My cousin verified. There had been only twelve people. There had been twelve people in the cabin. But being that everyone didn't really know each other well, nobody had really noticed the whole fucking time that there was an extra person. Then I realized earlier that I had kind of noticed something was off. You know how when you're just dicking around, having a good time, they that you don't sweat the smallest shit and you don't always keep track of certain stuff I'm dead sure that someone else has been in the trailer with us and that they had been at least they, they had been there for at least a fucking day eating with us what makes it worse I couldn't figure out which one it was because I don't think anyone actually ever interacted with the other person slash the goat man the girl kept praying to Jesus and we're all sitting outside. Eventually, we get big ass stick sticks and go back in, in the cabin. But there's nobody in there. We count again. There's 11 people. We go back into the trailer and lock the door. We explained what the fuck happened. And the girl says that she realized too. And then, when he was about to say something, the person next to her grabbed her leg hard and leaned over toward her and said something she couldn't understand. We're all pretty much scared as fuck as we huddle together and I fall asleep. When I wake up, the sun is just coming up. And half the people are asleep and the other half are packing our shit up. Okay. We all want to go back home. But like four people wanted to stay until the sun was all the way up. And some people think... Oh, what the hell? Uh, and some people think that we're just fucking around and still want to stay in the trailers. I just want to get the hell out of the woods. The girl's name- Oh, bro, we finally- We finally get the girl's oh. name! Well, after, like, bro, after they referred everything. to her as the girl for so long. Bro, we're literally, like, half done with it. We're, like, a third done. Or we're halfway and they finally introduced her name. Oh my god. The girl's name was Kira. The one that the goat man had touched. Anyway, I asked her if she really thinks it was something bad. And she says she just wants to go home and she doesn't want to be put out in the woods alone for another night. So we decide to split up. The four that wanted to go can go, but I have to stay because I have the keys to the cabin and it's my uncle's and I have to lock it up. I'm super pissed at this point because I feel like people aren't taking this shit seriously and I definitely didn't want to be out in the woods for another night. I know I'm definitely not taking this seriously. <laughs> okay. Um, what the hell was that? Uh, I spend the uh, rest. Okay, I spend the rest of the day trying to convince the rest of the people. Now four girls and four guys. Okay, four like the number four, and then four like the the the, like, yeah. the word four. <laughs> to get the fucking to get the fuck out of Dodge, Tanner a the boy Tanner leaves with them to go get a rifle and he says he's going to come back so there are just seven of us, of us left by 4 p.m oh 4 p.m oh. i thought all this was still happening in the night why why did they just leave oh hold on wait didn't i say the sun didn't even come up yet bro what are they in like, how did no, that much no, time pass between in then Al and like they're in alabama six o'clock and like four it's not, up here it's not like whatever the hell okay at around 5 p.m. he hasn't made it back yet, and we're getting extremely fucking antsy. And the only reason I stopped begging them to go back was because he want, want, went to get a gun. Okay, so the main character's smart. Everyone else just oh, isn't. Yeah. Okay. It's like one of those stories where the main character knows everything <laughs> that others don't. That's so true. Bro, where, where is everyone? I just realized there's no one else here. Where's Ruther? Oh, did Rooster get killed by Rooster? Uh, no, I think... Uh, I think Rooster got raped. The like, gold man. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. It's about 5.30pm or so. When the one cousin that did stay says that the girl Kira is outside. 
We all look outside, and sure enough, she's standing by the fire pit in the back of the cabin. Oh, you want to read now? Because I've been reading for a while. But Okay. I'm thinking to myself, if she was so flippin' scared, why the hell would she come back? And then I get this nasty feeling in my gut. Keep in mind, the whole time the coppery smell has been gone. Now I realize I can just smell just a tw twinge of it. Oh wait, hold up. I'm gonna call to it. To the rest. I'm gonna call it. Um, they think Kira is outside, but she's like dead or something. The or goat. Whatever, whatever, something stupid like that. All right, yeah, okay, I might be the right. goat. I'm gonna, call, I'm gonna call something. All right. Mm -hmm. Kira. Mm -hmm. okay, so, Kira is like. Kind of dumb, but I feel like she's gonna become the goat man for some reason. <laughs> that, that might be <laughs> then, true, actually. I was thinking. And then just like backstab all of them, right? Oh, man. Okay. Say this to the rest of them and everybody. These are the people that wanted to stay in the flippin' woods after we had the goddamn goat man at our midst. He's laughing at me now and asking if I set this up to scare them. Man, man these idiots are freaking. I mean, this is what they're gay. Yeah. I'm looking at them like. I'm not, I'm not kidding you at all right now. <laughs> I asked him why the heck would I play like that. One of the girls goes outside to get Kira. She she gets halfway to her and stops. Kira starts heaving. I don't know how the heck to describe it. Sort of if their back, if someone with their back turned and laughing without actually making any sound. Oh. It was this fact that made me realize there was not a single sound in the entire woods. It was dead silent. Maybe this it's was because like, maybe it's because he's inside like a cabin and they can't hear anything outside. Like inside a cabin in the middle of the woods. Yeah, like. I yeah. mean, but wouldn't there be like woods noises, like birds and like? Oh uh, no, but like they're inside you know? a cabin, so they wouldn't hear as well. True. 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 Yeah. True. This was like later in September, so it was not still, it was still fairly hot at the time, but it was super chilly some days too. You could hear the big, the huge geese honking, some kind of birds or squirrels chit chatting. I step out the door to tell her to come back into the trailer right goddamn now. She backs up into the trailer and we lock the damn door, pull down all the shades except one, and put a guy in there to watch her. Stands there for another 20 minutes or so. Guy turns to say that she's still there. And then there's a huge bang on the door. They all jump up and scramble around the living room of the trailer. The bang is loud as hell. So, my, so now my cousin is holding one of the girls. The other two are kind of giggling with nervous laughter. And me and the other two are shitty. Okay, wait. So they're, they're giggling? But a giant goat man thing is like pounding on their cabin. Bruh. This is some. Um, this is some. Um, Alright, continue. We hear Tan. You mean. Tan! Let, let me in! Stop playing! <laughs> so we go over to the door to open it. He stumbles in with a rifle. There's nobody else outside. Evidently, he had walked up to the campsite. Nothing weird had happened in the forest. But he had seen a girl. Mind you, he he said it was not Kira standing there. When he got to the he when he had gotten to the edge of the clearing, she had turned toward him with the slack jawed look and just stared him down, slowly tracking him as he walked through outside of the clearing towards the camp. He said that it wasn't so almost halfway to the trailer, he had realized that she was getting closer to him. Started off by the fire, and without even without him seeing her move, she had been turning, inching closer. Said that he just ran away, rest of the way back, back to the cabin, thinking it would open. When he got to the door, it was locked. He turned it, and it was about half the distance to the door. He looks around the room and then gets super pale. He pulls me to the side and whispers in my ear. You know there are only seven of us in here, right? I get the feeling where your stomach drops to your nuts. <laughs> yo, I, yo, when I'm on a roller coaster, yo, you can feel that when you're on a roller. Oh uh, yeah, kind of. I guess. I like that water ride thingy in Adventureland. 
had been back inside the trailer while we were sorting out who was going where. Then we all went outside to talk earlier in the day, as just slipped right back in. We looked out the window and there's nobody there. So we recount everyone and bas then basically I go over and ask everyone if people were here earlier. And everybody says set A8. And I say, well, how many are here now? We all do the count and then realize there are only seven people in the cabin. Wait. Wait, what? They're inside the cabin? What? How do you just lose a person? Oh, okay. How did just like... Or maybe they're the all stupid and the, the eighth person was the person who went outside to get Kira. And then they just like... Or like, did she come back? Or like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. Bruh, how did they get- yeah. Wait, 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 wait. You know how they put someone at the door in the window that was open oh, to watch yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it might be that. You know the scene in Bird Box where they put that guy on the camera outside and then he got like- Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that might box. be- Bird Box, what if that happened? Yeah. So, Ten had brought back a couple of boxes of ammo and his rifle, and he had told his dad that there was some kind of animal in the forest because he didn't think his dad would believe him if he said it was Goatman. Wait, he said okay, that worst, worst dad in history. <laughs> worst dad in history. <laughs> like, what the hell? Y your son or whatever is just like, hey, dad, there's this scary monster thingy killing all of my friends and that. And then did the dad, did is the just dad like, come with them or did he go no, outside? No, he's, the dad is like still home or whatever. Uh -oh. Oh, how <laughs> the you tell him just that? Like, <laughs> You calling him or like, no? No, no. I think no. Tanner like went into like his house to get his rifle. Or I'm pretty oh. sure it's like that. But okay, all yeah, that matters yeah. is that he told his dad this, and then the dad is just like, "Nah, you're just playing. Go, go back. Go get out." In the oh, bro. Oh hell no. <laughs> this is so he got messed up. This is so stupid. Okay. I, where was I? He says that his cousin was is supposed to be coming down in a few hours. And that in the morning we could all go back to his place and cousin will drive us home. Now I'm terrified, but at least I feel better because we can be American and shoot the hell out of whatever it is that comes back. Then my cousin gets into this huge argument with one of the girls because she said that she thinks that I'm not, I'm trying to be funny and prank them, that she's getting really scared and that I'm not funny. But you. Small P oh God. <laughs> the hell? Bro, why is everyone a retard? Why is why are all the girls just like so sus? Like I know, right? It's all the girls. Like legit uh, the only like smart people in this story so far, like they, like uh um, yeah, like Tan. Th yeah, Tan and the main the character and Junior because he actually thinks it's the goat man. Uh, is that sad when the main character's little that cousin is smart? Native that native kid that oh, yeah, the native kid, yeah. Four people out of like twenty. Four people, but now there are only seven. Yeah. At least the majority has a brain. Yeah. At yeah, this yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Keeps telling her that I'm not that kind of person, and she says, "Well, how do we know the girl wasn't just Tanner in a wig? Or if it really, or if it's really the Goat Man? Do we know that this is the real Tanner? That Goat Man just didn't kill Tanner in the woods and take his gun? Yo." Okay. So we get into a huge argument about this where me and Tanner are like, we could seriously be in danger because at the very least someone has been sneaking themselves into our trailer without us knowing and mingling with us and at worst, something bad in the forest is messing with us right now. Wait, how big is this? How big is this trailer? Is it a trailer or a cabin? Okay, I'm confused oh, now. Oh, yeah, yeah, is it a trailer or... Because tra tra oh, trailers, like, I don't imagine them to be... What if there's a trailer and a cabin? Uh, okay. Trailer can't be that big. Cabin is probably... Okay, uh, a cabin, maybe, either. but I'm not, I'm not, no. Unless it's like that tiny cabin. One room cabin. Oh, wait, you've been reading for a while. Artists. Right? One of the girls is crying. Okay. One of the girl, one of the girls is crying and saying she wants to go right now, and we're all trying to tell her we shouldn't, we shouldn't because one, none of us are walking through the woods in the middle of the night. Okay. Wait. 
Okay, so it's you're been like, good. It's been like what? Like two days, three days? Yeah, now, two it's, days. It's night now. <laughs> Bruh. Oh my god. It's the middle of the night. At this point, the sun is starting to go down and, it, and it's getting a little cloudy out. If it's the middle of the night, then how's, yeah, how's the... the sun starting? Or like, are they really? Is is this in the forest? Like, really? The, the, are they really that deep into the forest? Like, yeah, they can't. Like, how far away are they from civilization? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we see. We oh wait, what? Oh, we eat something uh, and turn on the radio for a while, but we can't really get a situation out here, out there with anything decent. Bruh. Okay, my brain just turned off that se that sentence. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's it was patient in that situation. <laughs> my brain turned. I'm, I'm just, okay. We eat something and turn on the radio for a while, but we can't really get a station out there with anything decent. No, stop. Oh my god. Stop playing music. What the fuck? Yeah. Um. Next time, next time we do this, it's definitely going to be like, um, it's definitely just going to be a group DM. Yeah, I'm sick of this. Oh. Alright, it's just going to be, who wants to join, and then first 10 people, group DM, the yeah. All of who wants to read, and make a group DM of those people. Yeah, and it's only going to be like, people who read, plus like, maybe two others. Yeah. Or like, it's going to, like, the priority list all is right. going to be, the priority list is going to be people who re who want to read. People are just there to chill. Like, is it gonna be that? Okay. All right, all right. Um, so we turn it off about the time about Tan's cousin shows up. He was like 19, I think. At this point, the sun is just barely over the horizon, and he has one of those ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I have a problem. Ugly. <laughs> he said. Uh... <laughs> I have a problem, man. I have a problem. He has one of those. Where did you get up? I don't know. He has one of those heavy duty lantern flashlights and another rifle. He walks up to the trailer and we whisper to Tan asking if he's sure Pediment. that his cousin, that that's his cousin. And he says uh. yes. What's up guys? I'm so, back from eating. Okay. You can, you can read later if you want to. You can Wait, read the that? next book. What did I miss, by the way? A lot. Like, lot, half yeah. the story, and half the people are dead. Yeah. Can you, like, summarize it real quick? So, basically, the goat man is making a bunch of people die one by one. Yeah. Now, everyone is scared as hell, and they have rifles and stuff. Oh, well, Michael there's some... killing a bunch of people? The goat man? Yeah. Goat man. Then, uh, this one girl, Kira, is just outside standing, uh, sitting by the fire. And, like, me and yeah, Muhammad, they... Alright. Okay. Right. Okay. We're good. Okay, um the guy looks behind him and around the camp, then walks in. He kind of glances at all of us and looks a little confused. He says, Where's your little buddy at? I figured she would meet me up at the cabin. If she's a little Okay. Is she a little slow or something? <laughs> he also asks whether we had been cooking blood in the cabin. Oh, what? Because it smells like blood. Cook, it's blood. Cook, you just cooks blood. Okay. Can I read the next paragraph? Yeah, sure. Because it smelled like blood and hot pans all the way up in the trail. We are all like fucking nope. But we ask him what the fuck he's talking about with the girl he saw. You doomed him for same thing. No, stop, stop. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. He had come down the same trail. Had been using uh, yeah, uh, tan, short for Tanner. Uh huh. I see. And had come up on one of you gay, one of you guys. <laughs> what is this? Oh my God. Standing in the middle of the. Man, this is Carl story him, level looking, grammar. Looking at him, slack jawed. He asked her a bunch of questions, but all she did was just look at him. Then she smiled at him and just kept walking she couldn't seem to keep up with him and kept lagging okay. a little behind he <laughs> he asked if she was hurt or something and if she needed any help but 
she had continued to stare. Eventually, he had been walking uh, around. Dude, you can just he like had been you can like turned around. read a little bit. He bent just... down on the trail. <laughs> no, uh, turn around a bend in the trail. What? But when he turned around and went back to see if she was okay, the trail was empty. He assumed mm. she had taken some sort of shortcut through the woods towards him. Bro, did a robot <laughs> replace you or something? <laughs> you sound like the TTS yeah. dude. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah. Is it we tell him the, the whole story? Uh, bro, who said I was scared? Uh, yeah, is is you tell him the whole story? Uh, right. uh, hold on. Here's a story all about how my life got turned flip upside down. Yo, is that the Fresh Prince of Bel Air? Oh no, we can't sing that, bro. We can't get country. <laughs> okay, we tell him the whole story of what's been going on. I have expected him to say we were full of shit. But he just listened and then sat down on the couches in the living room. Wait, is... is he here? Like, is Farhan here? Wait, I have to go take a piss. No, <laughs> Alright, whatever. <laughs> oh, hell no, it's 50 minutes, bro. Are you serious? Yeah, 50 minutes? Oh, fuck. I do the is gay, bro. Yes. Yeah, I got pinged. Oh, bro, there are mad people DMing me. Oh, hell. What are they asking for, nudes? I have nothing to check because I'm reading it through my phone, but I'm recording through my computer. Oh, man. I might have to use my second phone. Oh, why is my stream volume so freaking low, dude? Tom, it's screaming to your mic for something. Ah! Why is it so low? I'm sorry. Oh, wait, wait. Um, uh, what? If you hold me, move my volume all the way up. I did. It's all the way up. Uh, I don't know, then. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Um, we tell I him. Continue. Okay. We tell him the whole story of what's been going on. I have Lots expected him to say we were full of shit, but he just listened and then sat down on the couches in the living room. Tanner's cousin gets back to the girl. He says, when she had kept trying to lag behind him, it had kind of weirded him, weirded him the hell out. So he tried to keep her in check. But no matter how slow he walked, she was always lagging. Oh, wait. Did yeah, we already read this? Did, did you yeah. read this? Yeah. No, no. Wait. Whatever. Yeah, we did. Oh, wait, no. We, we didn't read this. Yeah, we did. Like, we did no, 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 yeah, yeah, no, we didn't read this. This guy is not good. It's just repeating stuff. That's the way I've edited before. Uh, Alright. Yeah, right okay. here. We were lagging a little behind, and that he was, and that he smelled like his lag was getting worse, but got stronger every time. Eventually. Bro, close your lag! Bruh. Eventually, it, it got really strong. <laughs> she had said something really low that he had turned around. He yeah. had turned around there with him. What a relief. What the? Steps back from him? her. Oh, wait, when is it going to be uploaded? Twenty-four. Because this is this is we're already in an hour and like seven. It was at this point he asked her if she was okay, and if she wasn't, him to carry her back the rest of the way. But she just kept staring. He said he reached out as if to grab her on the shoulder, but he must have misjudged her because she was off to the side, off where he had put his hand. He, he was looking dead at her. So at this point, we all know this shit's real. Unless Tan is playing a joke, which we can't tell because he's not. Which we can't tell he's not because he's almost pissing his pants. Oh, finally they all. 
know that it's real? Oh my god. So oh, the, gee. <laughs> yeah. They all load their rifles. We eat some more. And they kind of just sit around until about 11. Just fucking day. Every time. I usually pray to God that it was some huge prank that my cousins played on me and just never revealed so I would shit for the rest of my life. At around 11... Wait, what? <laughs> I have no idea. So at around 11, the stink of copper turns into an actual nasty, gross, blood-like smell. Like cooking blood and singed hair. Oh, that smell is the worst. Yeah, it really is. It really is. Tan and his cousin, Reese... Is pieces? Reese? Reese's oh. pieces. Reese's oh, pieces. Oh, Jerry Reese was the worst general manager in Giants history. Okay, get the fuck out instantly and grabs the rifles. There's like a half knocking, half clawing at the door. And I shit you not, there's this voice. And it sounds like when you see those YouTube cats and dogs who teach, who, who whose owners teach them how to talk. This is Puffs, eat him up. <laughs> yeah, Reese's pump, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up! Okay. Okay. <laughs> it says in this halting... Wait, yeah, you teach them how to talk. It says in this halting, weirdly toned vo voice, Let me the fucking stop playing, stop fucking playing. It made my fucking nuts creep out against my body. <laughs> and one of the girls... <laughs> what is, what is this, bro? I have Wait, no what idea, that? man. <laughs> and one oh, of the... Oh, loud, he coming. And one of the girls just starts crying and calling on Jesus. Okay. Oh, Did this guy really any get of... turned on by clawing noises? Anyone want to... Um... Oh. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's definitely a different turn to the story. Okay, uh, any of you want to read? No, a different said, interpretation. Yeah, but, uh, anyone else want to read? Like, he, he just said that there was knocking and scratching, and now his freaking balls are rubbing up against his leg or something. Like, what the hell? Freaking weirdo. <laughs> It doesn't mean he got turned on by Yo, what the hell? Why is there a YouTube link in the middle of the thing? Oh, I have no idea. Yo, should uh, I click it? Click after we're done. Yeah, yeah, it. click after we're done. Okay. What if so, you get a virus? Uh, you read, you read, you read. Uh, I think I'm gonna no, get I don't it's, want it's, no virus. It's YouTube. Uh, yo, yo, what, what, just click on the thing. Uh, click on the, uh... Um, oh, wait, no, no, no. Go, read, read the next part. Someone read the next part. Someone read the next part. I don't, I don't want to read anymore. Wait, where... Brian, you read it. Where do we? Where are we start? It off was from? so. Wait. It was so fucking obvious. Not a person talking. It was so fucking uh, obviously not a person talking. Oh, why does it highlight all of it? Uh, uh okay. Um, it was so flicking, flinging, flogging obvious. Not a person was. Uh, not a person talking. It didn't have the right kindness. I'm not sure this. And some shit. Candice. That I never realized. Candice. Oh but all people have a certain cadence when they talk no matter what language all people have a certain kind of rhythm talking this shits don't have any kind of candace or rhythm one of oh, one of those up. youtube cats who, who what the, the what the hell that's what the flip it sounded like outside the door so i'm in full on terror mode we keep we're we keep yelling outside who is it stop flipping around man and <laughs> it just keeps saying in or let me the fuck in. Let me the fuck in. <laughs> for 15, for almost 15 Let minutes. Let me in. Um, HTTP, uh, colon, thumbs slash. Stop. No. Wait, 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 it's not even a real link. They forgot the S after HTTP. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, okay. It sounded like, it sounded Those like, it's yeah. just not funny. Yeah. Sorry for not being tangent, but <laughs> if you can't imagine how this shit sounded then you can't imagine how flipped up the whole situation was so then the smell the smell goes away for a while whoa who just scrolled it wait what the hell oh okay and for the next hour or so you can hear someone basically creeping around the woods and shit every couple of minutes i'll come back into the door and say something finally when the smell fades away it's around two in the morning right now reese says man flip this and opens the door and walks out with his rifle all right someone else read is oh. anyone else gonna read? No, Farron, you haven't read in a while. Oh, I, Wait, what the hell? Wait, you know, battery, though. Though. Okay, there are like 11 left. Okay, Farron, you read, you read, cause I just lost where, 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 where we're You're at. You're doxing him, dude. It, it starts, then it's, 
then it starts screaming, and it sounds like a woman and a cat. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. It starts screaming, and it sounds like it sounds almost like a woman and a cat in a bag screaming together. Hmm. I seriously have never heard any shit talky mushrooms <laughs> like that. <laughs> and you can hear the breath over that way start to shake. He fires over the tree line and starts backing into the house. We lock the door and we can hear this keening and screaming. Reese's Pieces says something. K had come out of the bushes super low to the ground and crawling towards the cabin. <laughs> he shot at it. I just, I just imagine that thinking Michael yeah, Jordan crawls out of the bush. <laughs> Literally, just like saw a tiny thing moves and dude starts screaming like hell and starts shooting at it. I would, sh I would oh my shist God. my pants. No, that's hella scary though. Pretty much, that was how the whole rest of the night went. It was literally screaming constantly for the next two hours. <laughs> and you could hear stuff moving out in- Does this? Alright. Continue, continue. could hear stuff moving out into the tree line. But it never came back up to the cabin. Until everyone had finally fallen asleep. Anne had been sitting in the chair watching the door with his rifle. Nobody else heard or saw this. He told me two days later. After the whole thing was over, he said, he said he had been nodding off after the screaming and noises finally stopped. He had almost, he had been almost asleep. And he saw someone come out of the bathroom and then lay down in the. <laughs> okay. In the middle of the floor and go to sleep. Got a charge the laptop. Right, I'll just read. I'll I'll read the rest of it then. Alright, but okay. Pretending to be asleep, he said sometimes it would stand up and kind of do this weird jittery thing, or heave like it was laughing, but then it would lay back down. This the story closes. The story down on the floor. Nice. The story closes pretty weak because from my perspective, nothing happened. We woke up and I noticed that Tan was a little jittery, and that he was avoiding looking at up at all of us but we ate some breakfast packed up and started walking to his house he stayed last in the cabin and he said he'd locked up and bring me to my uncle's eyes to just start walking and he'd catch up which i didn't really want to fucking do we all we all got a little bit up in the path and when he came running up basically we just jogged back to his house his cousin looked took us home there was a window in the bathroom. Tan had gone back to lock up and looked in there. We were too stupid to lock the screenless window. The bro, window. That's a fucking bomb territory, bro. A window in the bathroom? What the hell? It's so bro, weird. The window is fucking up, and he went in there. I'm guessing they. I'm guessing he had been doing that all along, waiting for us to fall asleep or slip up, and then getting in among us. It all walked with us all the goddamn way back to his house. Then he said it lagged into the into the back of the group and looked him dead in the eyes before walking into the woods. And that ends the story. Hold on, hold on. Can we appreciate the popular page, the top one, the NFL drafter, the superheroes? Like what that's no random on a creepy pasta wiki. <laughs> Jerry Judy, bro. This is the creepy like, pasta wiki. Bro, that dude literally just got drafted a few weeks ago. Okay, the story's done, so I can actually like check my Discord stuff. All right, so that was. Wait, can I do your outro? Um, all right, yeah. I guess in another video we could like do something. Thank you guys for watching. We'll be back. Thanks for drop a like on this video if you enjoyed, and go search my other channel. Search my channel out. If you like anything else, then hit the like and subscribe button. In case you don't, go get your <laughs> All right, that was fun. Very if fun. you like this video, then you should like the video because you know, yeah. And All if right. you think this video is cool, check out the rest of the channel. And if you like the content on the channel, subscribe. And you want to watch really daily good. content, put noties on. Alright everyone, that's been us.
See y'all wait, later. wait, 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 wait. Right, hold uh -huh. on, hold on. Yeah. Mixer.com search crazy old 25 Okay, I'm done. Oh my god. Alright, see ya all later. Cut off your grand miss PP. Yeah, that's where we're ending it. Goodbye. Who just got- <laughs> Bro, who leaves? Hello? Who's leaving? Who's this guy? Who's me? Yo, my guy. What the hell? Where are we? Wait, what the hell just happened? Why is everyone leaving? Who keeps on kicking? Okay, yo, who's kicking people out? The fuck? What happened? Why the hell did everyone dip? What is happening? Hell. No. Oh, everyone just got Thanos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only half the people remain. Bro, who's leaving and joining? No, no, no. Someone's removing What's people. happening? Someone's bro, removing why are you people. kicking me, bro? Someone's removing just kick people. Freaking... Whoever has an animal in their PFP is gay. Um, Yo, that, I didn't know animal. That's Pingu. That is Pingu. This is Appa. We're doing the Pingu challenge. Alright, can we start this goddamn thing?